This week's challenge is to vlog either a poker home game or do a hand analysis. Not much poker going on here in Fukok, so instead I'm going to cover a hand that was played this summer in the low stakes cash games in beautiful but ridiculously hot Las Vegas. Now, there is no video footage of the hand in question, so instead I've expertly recreated it. I think you'll agree I've really managed to capture the intense atmosphere of that night in Vegas. The hand was actually played by a friend called Fred. I stayed with Fred this summer in Vegas and he wasn't sure that he played it right, so he wanted to talk it through. Funnily enough, Fred's not here with me in Fukok. He's back in his flat in London. So I'm just gonna try and catch him on FaceTime. Bear with me a second. Hello? Hey buddy, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. How you doing? Dude, are you on the toilet? Yeah, that's right. Why? Um, would you mind possibly not being on the toilet as I'm going to be recording this for a vlog? Oh right, okay. Let me just pause this for a second. Is that better? Perfect. Cheers buddy. Right, let's go through that hand that you said you played at the Rio. Just to let you know, we're going to have to use Skittles instead of casino chips, as I actually don't have any here. Skittles? Yeah. Yeah, the sweets. Oh, right. Skittles. I love Skittles. Tastes the rainbow. <laughs> cool. Yeah. Why don't we just get to the hand, buddy? Yeah. All right. So I was playing $1 small blind. Skittles, mate. Oh, right. Yeah, Skittles. Taste the rainbow. <laughs> so I was playing one Skittle small blind, three Skittles big blind, and the girl on the button, she put out six Skittles. Ah, so it was a Mississippi straddle. Yeah, I think that's what they called it. So the guy next to me, he raises to $26. Skittles, mate. Skittles, right, yeah. He raises to 26 Skittles. I look at my cards, and I've got the king of diamonds and the nine of diamonds, so I call. How much did you have to start the hand and how much did he have? I had $300. Skittles. I had 300 Skittles and he had a lot more Skittles than me. Wouldn't it be a bit better if you were deeper though? Deeper? Never mind. What about the positions? Where were you on the table? Well, I already said that. He was sat next to me. No, no, I mean relative to the button. What? Ugh, never mind, dude. So, you called? Yeah, I called and a Mississippi girl called as well. So you went three ways to the flop? Yeah, that's right. The flop came the Queen of Hearts, the Jack of Diamonds and the Five of Clubs. So you had a gut shot, a backdoor diamond draw and one over? Yeah, something like that. Anyway, the guy who raised, he bet out 25 skittles. I called and a Mississippi girl called as well. I mean, it's a pretty small bet. I don't mind the call but we are going to be left in some tricky spots on the turn as the pot will be about 160 Skittles and we'll only have about 250 or so behind. That's a lot of words, mate. All I know is I can't win if I fold. Anyway, the turn was the Ace of Diamonds. Okay, so you've now got the nut flush draw as well as a gut shot. Yeah, that's right. The Razor guy, he bets out 200 Skittles. Now, I really wasn't sure what to do. In the end, I thought if I went all in, he might fold. So that's what I did. I went all in, and then the Mississippi girl, who clearly wasn't very happy about it, she folded. Whoa, you shoved. That's a pretty big bet from him relative to the pot. And you shoved for what, 250? I really don't think you have much fold equity there, dude. Yeah, I suppose it was a big bet, but I could also hit a lot of cards. I could hit the two of diamonds, the three of diamonds, the four of diamonds, the five of diamonds, the six of diamonds, the seven of- Yeah, man, but there's also a lot of cards that wouldn't help you. I'm really not sure you're getting the right odds there, buddy. Yeah, but I don't do odds. I do how many cards I can hit. And I had the two of diamonds, the three of diamonds, the four of diamonds. Right. Yeah. Yeah, I get it. So I assume he called off the other 50 Skittles or so? Yeah. I was quite surprised, but he did call. Let me guess. The river was a diamond. The three of diamonds. <laughs> Brilliant. So what did the other guy have? Well, he actually had an ace and a queen. Ah, so he had top two. No, he had an ace and a queen. No, no, I mean he had two pair. Oh, right, yeah, he had two pairs. 
That's sweet though, man. You want a nice pot there? Yeah, he wasn't very happy with me though. Probably because you weren't really getting the right odds there, buddy. I mean, personally, I'm probably folding this hand pre-flop and working in a three bet a small percentage of the time, assuming the guy's a weaker player and we're much deeper. But I won, mate. <laughs> yeah, you did, mate. A healthy size pot of that. Well done, dude. Thanks, mate. Cheers for going over that hand for the vlog, buddy. I really appreciate it. No worries, mate. I could tell you another one if you like. Um, maybe not today, dude. But let's do this some other time for sure. Oh, right. Yeah. Sweet. Sounds good. See you later, mate. See you, bud. Have a good one. Find out who this girl is, who's been making Easter egg appearances in the vlog so far. Okay, so you've probably worked out that she's my girlfriend, but find out more about her in next week's episode. Stay tuned.